Hi there, Jose Francisco here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, try to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to tick the bell icon so you will be notified every time I post a new video. Today, I'm going to talk about homeschooling pa rin kasi someone asked me sa comment section kung paano ko daw natapos yung pag-aaral ko in one year and five months at kung four-year course din daw ba ito. Actually, it is a four-year course and to be honest, natapos ko siya in one year and five months kasi I only took the major subjects and two minor subjects because BA Psychology is already my second course na. I already graduated years ago on my first course at maraming na-credit na subjects sa akin doon. So, very lucky naman ako to only get 15 subjects to complete para makakuha ng bachelor's degree in psychology. Kaya natapos ko siya in one year and five months. So, after knowing na 15 subjects na ang kukunin ko, ang ginawa ko lang is to organize my schedule and timeline. Like for example, for a certain period of time, my first term ko, I took four subjects to test myself kung paano yung style of learning, to adjust myself dun sa pagbabasa, at kung paano gagawin yung mga quizzes online. Nung nagamay ko na siya on my first term, sa second term naman, nagtagdag na ako, naging ano na siya, uh, five subjects na ang kinuha ko. Then, until on my third term, inubos ko na lahat ng subjects which includes the OJT and the thesis. Medyo na tagalan lang ako sa thesis. It took me five months to complete it kasi I'm kind of like obsessive compulsive when it comes to doing my thesis and I wanted to make sure na maganda yung outcome or kakalabasan ng thesis ko. Which naging okay din naman siya. So that's the reason kung bakit ko siya natapos in one year and five months. So, possible ba siya matapos ang 4 years in 1 year and or even 2 years? Well, it is. It can be possible as long as committed lang kayo sa pag-aaral, sa pagbabasa, kung disidido talaga kayo and motivated at the same time na kumuha ng mga final exams at matapos yung pag-aaral and other factors like financial matters, importante din yan. So, that's the thing that you have to consider as well. Since CAP College is based on your own pace and in your own capability of learning naman, so it depends talaga sa inyong pace kung matatapos nyo ang subject in 2 weeks or 3 weeks, you can easily get the final exam after that. Wala namang problema yan sa kanila. All you got to do is just to coordinate with the proctor para makapag-schedule kayo kung anong araw at oras kayo makakuha ng final exam. So, if you have any questions about CAP College and distance learning, don't hesitate to post your questions on the comment section below. I'll be glad to answer that for you. And likewise, pag may mga admission inquiries, I'm going to post Miss Jess' contact number para makatawag kayo sa kanya or message over Facebook kung meron kayong mga tanong para masagot din niya para sa inyo. So, till my next video, thanks for watching. Bye-bye!